popping y'all let me tell y'all i am on my way i am on my way to get the rihanna limited edition galaxy palette from my local sephora and y'all coming with me <laughs> okay i play i said okay i already missed the first rihanna launch you know but that was just you know regular stuff like foundation stuff that's always going to be around but then of course desi was the only youtuber desi perky was the only youtuber that got an official exclusive sneak peek on the new limit edition i think it's called the galaxy um edition or the galaxy palette um on these eyeshadows and the eyeshadows are freaking bomb like like freaking bomb and i was just like if it's limited edition i'm not about to miss out on this opportunity so i said as broke as i am i'm gonna get that palette but see here what's here see here what what, what happened was i kind of forgot <laughs> but luckily i am an avid twitter user <laughs> so i was on twitter like literally twitter's my life but i was on twitter and somebody said something about the palette and i was like what's today scroll down on my phone real quick it's the 13th went to google typed in easton's um easton's sephora and then called them asked them if they sold out yet because it's only 10 36 a.m and they only opened like two hours ago or so so she said they're not sold out yet but it's going quickly but baby boo, I only live 10 minutes away. So here I come. Here I come. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. And also. Also. I wanted to come and tell y'all about my last two days. The last two days have been pretty amazeballs. Pretty amazing balls. So I'm about to put my sunglasses on so I don't got my face all scrunched up talking to y'all looking ugly. Now I look fierce, don't I? Fierce. I gotta show y'all my haircut later. Of course the lighting right now would be absolutely horrendous. Like I'm not trying to record. But okay, so today is October 13th, which is Friday. It's Friday the 13th and so let's see which day do we want to talk about first let's let's talk about two days ago which was wednesday come on sir could you walk across the street any freaking slower jesus okay so wednesday wednesday i had an interview. Let me roll up my windows. Okay. Uh, Wednesday I had an interview at Macy's. So I went to the interview in the rules that first of all, first of all, it's not even that simple. I just went to the interview. Okay, this is why I want to tell y'all this story. So insert story time. Um okay, so I woke up like at nine o'clock like like late nine o'clock like 9 45 ish um i probably start getting ready at 10 and mind you you know that's way early before my interview at 12 30. so i was like okay in the morning i'm gonna go to the post office and mail something that i sold on poshmark and then on and then after that i'm gonna go to print out my resume because um, the post office driving wise was on the way first. So it literally takes, so I, I didn't leave the house until two, till 11. But I'm like, okay, I still have an hour and a half. It's probably gonna take like five, 10 minutes at the post office, no big deal. I literally have no life, um, no big deal. But, it ends up taking 30 minutes. But I did have a nice conversation with this um, 
what's it called with this um what do they call those women those like big women that be like i don't know i can't think of what it's called but she was like really tall but she was a really nice person i wish i would have got her name in instagram or something yeah and she was really cute i liked her jumper and she was like extra she was like super nice to the guy that was working there yeah so um had a nice little conversation with that girl she wished me luck on my interview and but still took 30 minutes right and then i was just irritated because the poshmark slip you can only use certain boxes and the last time i went to the post office i showed the lady what the the um mailing slip said and she was like okay use this box but this guy acted like he just had no idea what box i should use and i'm just like but isn't this your job like the last person knew like it was nothing so what's the issue here oh that's why i'm hot because my freaking heat is on from last night dang so i'm just like i don't understand why you don't know but somebody else knew right away y'all doing the same job so that took longer because then I had to go into the Poshmark app and find where it tells you what box to use, blah, blah, blah. I just thought that he would know. So low-key my bad, but low-key is like, I don't understand why you didn't know when somebody else did and y'all do the same job. So, okay, that takes 30 minutes. Now, so then it's like 12.30. So then I drive over to UPS. Yeah, it was UPS. So then I tell the lady, like, first of all, I already slide my car to use their computer, computer, which charges you $3 just to use their raggedy computer for two seconds. You kidding me? And then um, I tell the lady, oh, and I need this on resume paper. She's like, we don't have resume paper. I'm like, okay, I gotta, I gotta go then. And she was like, um, cause it was 1245 at that point. So, um, she was like, well, it already, already said your car is going to charge. I said, that's fine. I just got to go. So then I'm driving and I, I'm like, okay, let me call FedEx. Cause that's where I usually go. But I just, I swore I got my resume printed at UPS before, but I guess not. So I usually go to FedEx. So I'm like, okay, hopefully there's a FedEx near Easton. I'm like, hopefully there's a store near Easton. So I Google it. Um, it gets me to the closest one. I call them. I say, are you located um, by Easton? They're like, yeah. So I said, if I, because what you do is you email them your resume and they print it out for you. They pull it up and they print it out. So I told her, can you just give me sandstone resume paper and can, and the name's Amber. Like it's going to come through as Amber. And she was like, because I was like, like talking really rushed. And she was like, she asked me first she was like um i take it you're in a rush and i was like yes i am i was like would you be able to print this out for me and have it ready for me and she was like yes we can do that i'm like thank you jesus so okay so i'm driving to easton from uh the ups across from um across from the speedway on Steltzer. so um i'm driving from there so it's probably gonna take me like 10 minutes or so so eight seven to ten minutes to get to the eastern area so then i'm like i hope this uh i hope this fedex is near macy's so i'm driving and then it does take me by macy's it, it, but it was across the street over there by dsw um but it's still not far because i was like at the end of the day maybe i might have to just run to the interview so okay i'm driving to fedex by the time i get in fedex it's 12.57.58. Well, no, no, no. It's 11.57.58. Wait, no, 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 no. No, 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 Okay. My time is off. So, it was 11.30. My time is off. Shoot. Oh, no, no, no. It was 11.45. When I left, it was like 11.45, 11.50 when I left the post office. Cause it took me 30 minutes to get up to the counter. Then it took time while I was at the counter. Then by the time I got to U UPS, it was um, 12 o'clock. Then by the time I get on the computer, 
it's like 12 15. then i come over i'm driving over here it's 12 um 27 12 28 i'm like oh my god so then i i asked first of First of all, a lady was in front of me finishing up. It seemed like she had been taking forever in the first place. So I'm like, just thank God she's finishing up when I walk in. And then um, the guy, I was like, um, I had someone print out something, a resume for Amber. And he was like, um, I don't know. And then he's like, hold on. I was like, yeah, I was talking to a lady. And there was only one other lady in there. And she was like, yeah, sitting on the counter. But then he starts saying something to her, trying to help her out with something. And I'm like, boo, because I was like, how much is it? And he starts talking to her. And then um, I'm like, no, finish and focus on me. I hate that. No, you talking to me. Or you can at least say, is it okay? Give me just a second. And I would be like, I know I'm in a rush. You don't have a second. So um, then um, as soon as he got done talking to her, taking favor, um, I was like, how much is it? Like, I'm rushing. I'm trying to make sure, like, he understand, like, you need to come on. So he told me it's 54 cent. I gave him a dollar. I said, bye. I got to go. And so, well, I didn't say it like that. I was just like, to keep the change. I got to go. <laughs> and so then I got in my car. I'm barely stopping at the stoplights. Um, Cause it was only like stop signs. It wasn't like stoplights. Um, so I'm very, I'm barely stopping. I'm only stopping enough to hopefully, you know, officer return the other cheek. So, I'm just rushing, rushing, rushing. And, okay, where am I? <laughs> okay, because there's like some construction. I'm like, what's happening? So, I'm just rushing, rushing, rushing. And I walk into Macy's. I already knew exactly where to go. And then I go over to the lady in the HR offices. And I'm like, oh, I'm Amber. I'm here for, resume, uh, for an interview. And she was like, looks at the time she's like okay I walk out of her office I look at my clock it's 12:30 on the dot 12:30 on the dot I'm a lucky duck <laughs> I am a lucky duck like if that ain't Jesus I don't know what is that's the type of stuff you gotta say if it ain't Jesus then what is it mm -hmm. You got to shout. You got to speak it. You got to shout. You got to shout. You got to shout. So I made it in the nickest of times. And that's my story about getting to my interview. So then I'm offered the job as seasonal. And of course, you got to prove yourself and all that. Not all that. If you want to stay on with them. Okay. So that's that whole story. Hectic story. But then, but then, I'm just walking around with my res resume out, and I'm walking around at Express, and the lady's like, oh, I see you have your resume in your hand. Are you looking for a job? Because we're hiring. I'm like, oh, and she was like, I was like, well, I did just have an uh, interview at Macy's, so... Cause I, I kind of wanted her, I kind of did want her to kind of leave me alone. Cause I'm like, I hate being in positions like this. Where it's like, I have to choose. It's just like, why can't things be simple? I don't want to have to choose. Or why can't it be presented where, okay, you could work, work here in Macy's. Like if she would have presented it to me like that, it's like, okay, cool. But she didn't present it like that. So it's just like, now you have to, you know, wonder, is she willing to do that? Um, yeah, but I, I just, I hate stuff like that. I don't want to have to choose. So she was like, well, we can interview you right now. I'm like, okay. So I tell her, I'll interview right now. So he interviews me. He pretty much offers me the job. Now, I will say that I really don't think like, I mean, obviously I didn't bomb the interviews. Obviously, if I would have bombed the interview or said something so crucially wrong, I wouldn't have got it. So, you know, I get, you know, a little point, a little bit of points for that. But I will only, I will, getting these jobs offered to me, I will only 
really credit the fact that it's it's about to be holiday season they just need people so honestly I don't think I was hired because oh I'm the best of the best or anything like that like I was hired because I showed up I had a good resume and I answered the questions in a decent manner that's all that's it I really don't see it's not really too much of an accomplishment to me it's, it's really just I'm about to get that check that's what it is okay y'all I'm at Easton now so oh my god y'all I got a new purse I'm gonna post a picture of it soon cuz yeah probably y'all do video I'll do pictures tomorrow because I have an event to go to it's my event with the creative committee I am one sixth of the creative committee If y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all already would see this by now. Got it from Aldo, Aldo, however you want to say it. Um, this is a Michael Kors um, puff that I got on sale. So I just, I just love it. Like I feel like I'm so like official with my purse and my puff. Yes. Look. I hope. Okay, um, low key kind of scared to be filming while I'm at East End and in Sephora um, out in front of people with an actual camera because y'all know I typically just use my phone so it looks a little more um, lax doesn't look as you know extra as carrying a whole camera so no one's actually at Easton right now because it's the morning time on a Friday. All the kitties are in school right now. I wonder how many people are actually in Sephora. It did sound kind of busy, so I wonder. Y'all, I got my um, Athens Happens uh, OU shirt on from Pink. Y'all remember two years ago they came out with a line for Athens for OU? I got that on got that on sale too. Honestly, let's see. Let's price my outfit. So these are one dollar flip flops from Old Navy. So that's one dollar. These, first of all, honestly, I don't even know where these um, sweatpants came from. But let's pretend they're they're leggings, or let's just pretend they were ten dollars. They probably couldn't have been more than ten dollars anyway, because these are really really old. So I got them when I was younger, and somebody probably bought them for me. So they probably didn't cost that much. So that's eleven dollars. Then this shirt that was seventy, eighty dollars, I got for twenty. So that is thirty-one. Then the purse is fifty-five. Thirty-one, fifty-five, eighty-six. So that's eighty-six. And then the puff was twenty. So what? That's like. 113 113 now let me tell you I don't do math well in my head so I'm the type of person I gotta write write it down I can write it down real quick but it's like this I think it's also because I have a bad memory like the numbers just don't stay in my head so that's why I'm like were we at three on the last digit or not because I already forgot <laughs> Here it is, y'all. That's it, right? Why is it not? Cool? It probably will. Okay, y'all. I'm in Sephora. So, I mean, I'm 100%, of course, getting the Galaxy palette, but. I also want the Eclipse eyeliners, but what I'm gonna have to do is pull out Desi's video. Sorry, y'all have to get this to like focus. Why is it blurry? Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to fall, uh, pull out Desi's video because I do know that. I feel like I, I want all three Eclipse eyeliners, but those are $20 a piece, so 
IDK. I know for sure I'm gonna get the later crater because that was really pretty. That was the nude one, the other two are dark. But then I'm thinking, do I want a lip gloss, which is $19? I mean, it's limited edition, so it's just like, you don't get another chance. I know I don't want the lipstick, just because it seems like they're a creamy finish, and I don't appreciate it. I like matte lipstick, so. But, I don't know. Here, here are the, um, let me, t I'm gonna turn around the camera so y'all can see it. Yeah, so I'm just gonna make a decision. I'm just gonna pull out the Desi Perkins um, video and take a look at all her swatches and everything again to make my final decision. Um, and I'll just come back to you guys when I'm done. So I will be back. I am back. So I have my Fenty. Okay, so I was looking at Desi Perkins and I decided to get, um, so I got the palette. And then I decided to get two lip glosses and two eyeliners. I think I got, I don't know, I have to show y'all, but I'm gonna do a collective haul because I've honestly been spending a whole lot of money and I really shouldn't, but you know, when you balling, you you can do that. And I'm not balling, I'm not balling, I'm, I'm broke. <laughs> but I've been putting it all on my credit card and I think I said in a like a clip you'll see before like a couple clips that you'll see before this that um I, I kind of got myself in a hole kind of but I'm going to explain it completely so y'all understand what type of hole I'm in and why I'm so calm about it because I mean I'm not necessarily in a hole that I can't get out of um I'm just tr trying to get out of it in a certain way so um the thing is just the more i spend the more the longer it's going to take me to get out of it the way that i'm trying to go about it so i will explain all that because you know i have my financial literacy series and i want to you know be and so i want to be as transparent as possible but the thing is that you know typically when people say oh, i'm going to be transparent they don't give you like concrete numbers as far as the money that they have they're making and what they're doing with it and all. I'm gonna give y'all like my actual concrete numbers so y'all really know how I'm doing this and how it's gonna work and stuff so honestly here's my thing that I will say first and foremost just in case that video doesn't drop before this one because I don't know um, I don't know how that when that video is gonna drop um, I would assume it's gonna drop after this but what I will say is I have money saved up so it to me it's like at the end of the day I could use that money I could use that money to get me out of this hole so I just want y'all to know that that while I'm spending all this money I'm not spending it and actually maxing out my credit card with no way to get out of it so I will say I will say that I I can get out of like what's on my credit card I can pay it at any time that I want because I have more than what is on my credit card saved up so that's why it's kind of like you know i'm trying not to spend as much as possible but if something like the fenty limited edition comes out yes i'm gonna get it because because that is something that's important to me as a youtuber and as somebody wanting to do more tutorials or somebody you know in the entertainment business in a sense and you know being a part of a collective and things like that where I have to go to events you know this whole makeup thing you know is something important to me and something that's going to help me present myself the way that I need to present myself in the situations and environments 
and um, opportunities that I will be in. So, you know, I see it as an investment, but also I know that I can pay for it cash money at the end of the day. Um, and that's and I'm just telling y'all that um, truthfully because I don't want people to think like, oh, she says she's broke or she says she doesn't have a job, so how is she buying a $60 pallet and blah. Well, you know, that is how is because I can pay for it. So it's just like if you find yourself in the same situation, I don't want you to say, or especially if you're like a young girl or a young boy, um, say, oh, I can go buy this shirt and run up a credit card and do all this stuff because Amber Charmaine did it. No, Amber Charmaine has money saved up and I want you to have money saved up, which is why I'm doing my financial literacy and why I'm gonna go into detail about exactly how I'm working this out. So, please don't max out a credit card if you don't have the money to pay for it. You don't spend what you can't pay for. And that's just the bottom line. If you can't pay for it, don't spend it. And at the end of the day, if I had to spend my savings to pay on my credit card, then at least I don't have debt. I won't have money saved, but I won't have debt. And that's what you want to avoid is having random debt for no daggum reason. And honestly, the amount of money that I have saved, it's great that I have that amount of money saved, but I honestly don't need that much. It's just a personal goal of mine to have a lot. So I just feel like I have wiggle room and all that which is why I wanted to save that much money, is so, you know, I have wiggle room in my life when it comes to my finances. And that's what everybody should be striving for. Make it so you can do what you wanna do. Don't make it so you can just get instant gratification. Make it so you can do what you wanna do when you wanna do it, how you wanna do it. to go back home and I'm probably just gonna read for class this book is really a hard book to read because it's just so sad and it's and it's even more sad because um, situations situations like what's going on in the book happen all the time it's all American boys it's all American boys that's for all American no I think it's all American boys so if y'all, I would really recommend reading that book, but it is a hard book, at least for, I mean, it should be a hard book for everybody to read, but it's definitely gonna be a hard book for black people because we live it. We live it every day. And my thing is, you know, books are also, you know, a lot of people, especially boys for whatever reason, always say that they don't really like reading. But as a boy, period and especially as a black boy you should read all american boys because if you have ever felt alone or if you really want to i don't know like i feel like books are there to help you relate and not feel alone and a book might say something in a way that you want it, you wish you could have said it or you would have wanted to say it and now that's like your your quote for life your life quote or something so i would really really recommend reading that book um because it's going to really you're really going to feel like you're not alone and also there's different perspectives there's different perspectives so one of the boys that i think is white or at least the person he's friends with is white and and then his older brother is the cop in the situation it's just just that perspective also of knowing the cop knowing him as a good guy and then seeing him act so maliciously because of the color of somebody's skin so definitely read read that book i'm i'm like 30 pages 20 pages shy of the hundredth page and I already know like y'all need to read that book
but I'm about to get up off here. All these clips have been super long. So hope you guys enjoyed my little trip to, enjoyed my trip to, what is it called? To Sephora to get the Fenty Beauty. I'm going to do a haul, a collective haul, so you guys can see everything that I have copped in the last couple of days, honestly. Spending too much money. And then I'm gonna be working for the man every night and day, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Working for the man every night and day. Oh, 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 oh. Shout out to Desi Perkins, you're the real MVP because I watched your tutorial to make sure I picked everything that I wanted exactly. If it wasn't for my YouTubers, I don't know how I would live. And I'm the type of person I really don't my whole life. So YouTube, YouTube is so perfect for me because my whole life, I would never buy anything if I didn't see someone else use it first or if I couldn't talk to somebody else about how it worked and all that type of stuff, ever, ever on anything. Like I never buy something without consulting with somebody. Whether it's a friend, an expert, whoever. So YouTube is so perfect for me because now it's like I don't have to know you phys in the physical. I could just pop you on up on my phone and you are here for me. So shout out to you, Desi, and all my other YouTubers. Like, I always let y'all know what YouTuber put me on to something. But I'm about to get up out of here, so please make sure y'all thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll talk to y'all later.